Hey Aquas, how you guys doing? Welcome back to Clarity Goddess Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a general love reading for your sign, okay? Keep in mind, you guys, that the energies can be interchangeable, so it could be you or the other person, all right? Um, these messages are here on YouTube for the general public, okay? So they are general messages. Um, they may or may not resonate for you, okay, sweetie? If they don't, go ahead and check your moon rising and Venus sign, okay? Or you could also get a personal reading, okay? Um, I am still doing those, so so if you would like one, you can definitely contact me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com, okay? I'd also like to thank all of you that have already gotten personals. Um, I really, truly enjoy doing this, okay, you guys? Being able to give you clarity and insight and all of that. So, um, yes, a shout out to you guys that have already gotten personals. And, um, yeah, oh, another thing. If you guys just have, like, specific questions that you may want to ask, um, you can connect with me through Instant Go, okay? So I'll leave that uh, link in the description box. Also, if you would like to donate to the channel, I'll leave my PayPal link in the description box as well, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you guys can see, I am using a different deck. It's by Cyril Marchetti, and I'm also using um, the Romance Angel Cards by Doreen Virtue, okay? The setup is a little bit different, the layout and all of that, but um, yes. <laughs> so a lot of cards here. That's just my style of reading, okay? I like to pull... Um, as many clarifiers as I see fit, okay, for me to get the uh, messages intuitively, okay, I like to be really thorough here for my viewers, okay, so um, let's go ahead, I want to explain to you guys first how the cards are laid out, all right, at the very top, those top two rows represent your energy, okay, Aqua, the middle represents a collective all right, so both of your energies, okay, or just what's going on, how you're feeling, how they're feeling, how both of you are feeling, okay, so that's that, and then at the bottom, those two rows represent their energy, okay, keep in mind, guys, like I always say, it could be switched, sweetie, okay, so it could be you at the bottom and them at the top, just take it how it fits, okay, and then over to the left, we have the past energy, over here to the right, again, we have the romance angel cards and the future energies, okay, so I hope that's making sense to you guys, um yeah let's go ahead and get started okay so we're gonna touch on the past a little bit real quick okay aquas um a lot of you were dealing with a uh narcissist okay or either both of you were existing in this energy together at one point arguing fighting okay i'm not saying physical fighting although some of you could have been you know but regardless it was a lot of mental uh anguish here okay anxiety depression for some of you overthinking not knowing where you stand with this person okay being in love with them not sure if they were in love with you back okay uh some of you were dealing with third party situations where this person was giving more to other people than they were to you okay they didn't seem to be very vested or invested in this connection as much as you were all right but yes it was the mind games going on here okay uh competition a lot of competition whether it pertained to a different uh lover or their family or their friends or their work being more important okay somebody was not being valued here like they should have been okay so that is what i'm picking up here all right for the past energy um now let's tap into the right now okay let's tap into the uh the current energy we have the four of wands here okay this speaks about communication i feel as though some of you have heard from this person others of you this represents a new connection okay because i do see the two of cups up there i'll get to that in a minute but you know some of you have um had you know quite a bit of communication going on here with someone but something seems off <laughs> something seems off with this person uh some of you feel as though you cannot trust them all right now whether this is a new love interest or this person from the past has came back and said something to you you know some of you are still apprehensive about their sincerity okay because we have the page of uh swords here in reverse okay some of you also could be dealing with another air sign another uh, aquarius a libra or a gemini but this represents someone who can be a liar okay also a stalker someone's been doing some stalking here um also the type of person that's all talk okay all talk and no action i feel some of you have met someone new and they're love bombing you okay um if you don't know what love bombing is it's basically like when you meet someone new they're flattering you giving you all type of compliments and you know it seems 
you know, we, we like to hear that, right? Everyone wants to feel wanted and attractive. So this person is, is uh, love bombing somebody here with plenty of flattery and compliments and all of that. Okay, maybe it's a very strong sexual attraction between you and this person. But something just seems deceitful about them and not maybe not necessarily deceitful but that they're hiding something okay is what i'm really picking up here all right um some of you are uh spreading yourselves too thin as well with this two of pentacles here in reverse you know juggling too much or this person is juggling too much okay too much juggling going on someone not managing their time properly all right now if that's in regards to this person you know it may be or it could be something else in your life okay it could be work or your family you know or your love life just trying to find um re really needing to find a, um an even ground here is what i'm picking up for some of you okay others of you you have something you want to say to someone okay but you don't know how you don't know if you should reach out or this could be them okay they want to say something to you but they don't know how to okay with this uh king of swords in reverse this also could represent someone who is uh who abuses their power someone who's very intelligent very smart but they're also a egomaniac okay a narcissist that uh uses their intelligence to belittle other people all right i'm not saying that's you aqua even though that is air energy this could be them okay and even if it is you shit i'm not here to judge you i'm just saying what's here okay sweetie so somebody has that type of energy going on um and it has somebody else defensive okay because we had a seven of wands here somebody's defensive about something others of you you know this is the person from the past you know you're still um i don't know trying to defend something here okay um uh, others of you um you know with this hangman card here you're indecisive still okay about whether or not you want to deal with this person or if or if you really want to invest with this new person okay because this speaks about stalling stagnancy being a little bit unsure okay maybe we're being resistant to something okay some of you have people who are trying to date you but you're you're operating in fear okay or either they are you're trying to pursue someone and they're um being hesitant about it because of fear is what i'm strongly picking up here okay and the fear is based around not wanting to be vulnerable again okay because of what some of you went through in the past like this was some shit man it was like really really heavy for some of you okay with this uh karmic soulmate from the past you know and you may just be a little bit resistant you know maybe you're like oh no i need to focus on my money more or you know other areas of my life i don't have time to to you know start new love connections so you're resistant to it okay that's just for some of you all right so yes those are the existing energies between you and this person you know it's communication happening but there's still some resistance here okay some indecision some indecisiveness going on all right let's go ahead and touch up here in your energy okay we have the two of cups yes this does rep represent um soulmate type of energy harmony happiness all of that so i think those of you that have met someone new you like this person okay and they like you there's an attraction there there really is okay the potential for something um you know magical and beautiful here is what i'm sensing but honey <laughs> there's confusion as well okay some of you are fearing that this person is already married or that they have a, another male or female that's significant in their life, okay? Some of you, this person lives at a distance and you may be fearing that they're, they have a secret family or just something going on that they have not told you about, okay? Uh, the Seven of Cups, like I said, it can represent confusion, illusions you know um options some of you are fearing this person has too many options for you you don't know how you're going to fit into their life or they could be feeling this way towards you okay next we have the seven of pentacles this represents a waiting energy okay and it also could represent um investing in something but with it being in the reverse i feel as though some of you are scared here okay that you don't want to invest in this you don't something is telling your intuition not to do this okay um now that's up to you okay i'm not here to tell you guys what to do sweetie i'm just here to say what is um in the cards all right now um next we have the ace of pentacles in reverse the aces speak of new beginnings okay but it's in the reverse so um for those of you who are dealing with someone in the past you know that's that's gone it is i hate to say it 
you know, um, you know, it's hard. It's hard when things end. It is. It's hard when people hurt us and, and let us go or leave us, you know, but for those of you who are struggling with that, just know that better is coming. Okay. Better is on its way. But for that specific situation, it's, it's over. It is. It is over. All right. That's what I'm sensing here. Okay. Um, for others of you, this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, you know, it really represents that you're scared. You don't want to take, you don't want to have a new beginning with this person or either. It's not that you don't want to, you're afraid to. I don't know why I keep picking that up that somebody is scared here. Okay. Scared of getting hurt again. Scared of investing and not getting a return. Okay. Because the seven of Pentacles again, speak about investing, putting in effort. Okay. And reaping rewards and the results for your effort and energy. Okay. But when it's in the reverse, it means that you don't, you don't get those rewards okay it's like you've wasted your time so some of you are fearing wasting your time with another soulmate all right um next we have the a page of pentacles in reverse okay to me this kind of represents someone who may have been on board with something and then they changed their mind that is strong what i'm picking up here for some of you aquas um and then we have the fool card okay in reverse again this piece about not wanting to take a leap of faith yep for some of you, this strongly um, applies to this new person. I think that you like them. I do. I think that there is a lot of attraction here. Maybe a lot of good sex going on too, okay? Because I do see that fiery energy down there at the bottom. But nonetheless, you're scared to take a leap of faith, okay? So that's for your energy. Again, Aqua, that could be them, okay? Let's go ahead and go down here to the energy that's supposed to represent them. But it could be you okay so we have the knight of wands okay this is fiery energy some of you are dealing with an aries a leo or a sagittarius okay but this is someone who rushes in and rushes out okay someone who is very lustful and sexual and all of that i feel like this connection is um very very sexual okay amazing sex shit for some of you <laughs> i mean damn you know that's just what i'm picking up that you know, some of you are having some really good sex here with this person. But, you know, they're a trickster. They are. They're a trickster, honey. They rush in and out. They uh, like to love bomb people. You know, I don't know if I touched on that earlier. But like I said, you know, this kind of person, they rush in with a lot of pa a lot of passion and energy and all of that. And then they're gone, you know. And then some of you, you don't even know where they went. You don't even know where the hell they went, <laughs> okay? You don't know where they live. You don't know really anything about them. You know that sex is bomb as fuck, though, okay? That's what I'm saying. Like, some of you know that, okay? That you don't really know a lot about this person. They rush in and out, all right? Um, some of you can be kind of hurt by this, though, okay? Again, this could be this person from the past. Maybe this person that's married, okay? Maybe they're rushing back in or wanting to, okay? They want to rush back in here. They really and truly do because you guys had a very intense connection, all right? So just to kind of summarize what I'm picking up here at this bottom energy, you know, some of you have someone from the past that wants to rush back in, okay? Maybe tell you something, maybe have some makeup sex, okay? This person is missing you. And they are thinking about that sex that you guys had, <laughs> okay? I know I keep saying sex. I don't know why, but, you know, some of this, this person is missing the sex between you guys, okay, with this fiery, lustful energy, all right? But they caused you a lot of pain. They did. They caused you a lot of pain, and I feel as though they're in pain now. They are. They are going through some shit, honey, because they got the Ten of Swords. That is extreme pain, okay? That's not the Four or the Five or the Six. It's the damn Ten of Swords, okay? That is a lot, all right? Um, I feel as though... Like I said, they are a trickster. They are a manipulator, okay, a liar, um, a narcissist, all right? Someone's definitely carrying this type of energy. Again, I'm not trying to be offensive, okay? I'm just saying what I see from this from these cars, okay, you guys? So don't take offense to it, all right? Um, you know, so yeah. Next, we have the judgment card. No, actually, next, we have the magician card again. Like I said, this is someone who's a trickster honey that uses manipulation to get what they want some of the some for some of you this person sweeps you off your feet 
maybe for a day or a couple of hours with some great sex maybe you guys go out to eat and you know you think that everything is good and it's on track and then their ass is gone just like a fucking ghost they're just gone right and then you know they just you feel you end up feeling used or depleted here okay you end up feeling hurt right because they it seemed like they just use you okay now this could be sexually or financially for some of you okay but um yeah some of you this is your baby daddy who does this to you or your baby mama okay uh like i said the energies can be they're not gender specific okay but someone has gone through a spiritual awakening or either they're needing to all right this person who keeps operating in all this like sexual and and flesh you know type of energy uh physical just physical energy and not really ever tapping into their higher self okay because that's what the judgment card is about you know they are getting ready to have they're gonna have no other choice than to do that honey because they i don't know what's gonna go on here i'm picking up strongly uh it, it's a lot of regret that's happening here or it is getting ready to happen okay because we do have the five of cups here all right this speaks about regret pain okay uh rejection sorrow guilt you know that type of energy all right so yes i'm picking up that this person you know they sent you through this they sent you through this in the past and now this is them it is it is down here in their energy you know it could be you but i, well, I strongly feel that this is them okay they have uh some of them have gone through this uh this uh transformation all right they've gone through this um a spiritual awakening they realized that they were wrong for how they treated you okay and now they're existing in this ten of swords energy the same way they had you honey and now it's on them okay it's funny how karma works <laughs> people think they can just come in and out of people's lives and you know fucking ruin it and you know create conflict and pain and you know like they're never gonna <laughs> have to suffer the repercussions of that type of thinking and behavior and you know this person had to come to a uh, a reality check okay with that judgment card here and now they're in this five of cups energy okay a lot of sorrow and, and regret here all right i'm picking up for some of you this person has too much pride they have too much pride to come back and say that they're sorry you know they want to rush in with this fiery energy because they still think about you or care about you you know that's for some of you but you know their pride doesn't let them do so okay so that's what I've gathered from uh, the past and current energies. Okay, you guys, I hope that made sense for you. Let's go ahead and talk about the future energies. Okay, we have the nine of wands in reverse. This speaks about paranoia. Yep, so I knew it. Just like, you know, I had said earlier, those of you who are connecting with new people, you're paranoid about this person or either they're paranoid about you. All right. Those of you, this is the past person who has uh, came back. They are coming back into the, in, you know, into your life, wanting to communicate and it's going to have you kind of paranoid. Okay. Because you're not going to know what to do. Should I respond or should I treat them the way they treated me? You know, um, are they going to hurt me like they did before? You know, that type of energy going on because there was, there's still a third party here. It is because we have the three of cups next to that. Okay. Yes. So this person is still involved with other people. All right. I know that may hurt some of you to hear that, but, you know, I'm just here to tell you guys the truth of what I see, okay? I'm not with the fluff at all, okay? I don't feel as though that's operating in integrity, okay, to lie to my viewers when I see something total, the total opposite, okay? So, yes, somebody's rushing back in to create havoc in your life, okay, Aqua? Um, they're still attached to a third-party situation, okay? Uh, for some of you, there's not going to be any victory here with this person, okay? Uh, because we do have the Six of Wands in reverse. Some of you, this person is still involved with their baby mama and, or their wife or whoever, okay? Somebody is, some kind of feminine, motherly energy is still present here, okay? Or will be in the future, rather, because that's the position we're talking about. But, you know, and then we have the Three of Swords, pain heartbreak heartbreak rejection you know that type of energy going on here okay we have two cards that represent threes okay and then we have the three of pentacles in the past you know so yes some of you were dealing with a third party situation and this person wants to rush back in and they still want you to be in that thing 
okay i'm not judging you if you want to go back into that honey i am not judging you just know the cards that are here honey it says the three of swords that represents pain internal conflict heartbreak all right some of you this person has not changed okay with this magician uh in reverse energy trickster manipulator all right narcissist okay uh, they know they need to make some type of transformation or, or you know, get themselves grounded spiritually. Maybe bring their arrogant ass back down to earth, okay, is what I'm sensing for some. And they are not doing that. They are not doing it, at least not yet. Because, like I said, we do still have the third-party energy, the paranoia, the uh, defensive energy, the no-victory energy here, and another woman or another man, okay? So that's just for some of you. But now for the final outcome card, we have the two of wands. Okay. This speaks about needing to make a decision moving forward with something or not. Okay. This is like a fork in the road type of uh, energy here. Okay. For some of you, I feel this person's going to come back and um, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck between, okay, do I go back into this heartbreaking mental shit storm of a relationship, you know, that I had with this person in the past who damn near destroyed me. You know, or or am I going to take a leap of faith with this new person whom I still may not really trust like that? OK, or you may just go in a totally different direction, and leave both of them behind. OK, that's for some of you. All right. So, um, yeah, the final out outcome card, I don't really look at, at the two of wands as being bad. It's just a decision that has to be made. OK, Aquas. Now let's talk about your romance angel cards. We do have uh, the soulmate. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. So, yes, for some of you, even though this person is toxic and, you know, they're, they are your soulmate. They are your soulmate. You guys are connected on a spiritual level here. OK, a very deep bond that you had and still have with this person okay um now the next card says uh give your relationship a chance work on your partnership okay so for some of you like i said um you know you're going to be at a fork in the road okay whether or not to take this person back okay or either they're going to be at a fork in the road trying to figure out if they should take you back okay because like i said this card it is saying give your relationship a chance but honey I'm not here to tell you what to do. Like I always say, you do what you want to do, what you feel is best for you. You know what's best. You know what you and this person have been through. I don't know. You know, nobody else knows the intensity or the depth of this connection. Okay, so if you feel like you should, if you feel like that card resonates for you, then go ahead and go for it. Okay, so that's what um, that card uh is saying okay for some of you others of you this um the, the last card says playfulness okay and the message says to to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine yes so you know i feel like some of you like i said you were you're you've been uh dating someone new okay things are going pretty good but you're still apprehensive about them you know um maybe being serious <laughs> i'm picking up some of you are too serious because you're scared about something scared to fall in love again okay i know some of you aquas are definitely afraid of that okay but this card is encouraging Encouraging you to be a little more playful a little more lighthearted okay and you should be you know I'm not saying let your guard all the way down all right only time will really tell okay sweetie especially with this new person with the old person you kind of know what the fuck they're about okay you already know what kind of shit to expect from them you know but with this new person you know maybe give it a couple days or just let things kind of play out on their own okay but yeah the card does say uh you know say playfulness so just take that how that fits for you okay if you feel you should then you know go for it all right um so yeah that wraps up your uh reading aqua i know the reading was a little long like i say guys you know i do like to pull out a lot of cards okay to get as clear as i can okay for my viewers because i really genuinely want to help you guys i love doing this okay again if you would like a personal reading go ahead and contact me at clarity goddess tarot at gmail.com okay for questions uh in regards to your connection here or other areas my instant go link will be in the description box and then um also my paypal link okay if you would like to leave donations okay thank you guys so much okay i love you guys thank you for the support don't forget to hit the like share subscribe button and the bell notification all right take care aquas